All right, welcome to the channel, guys. This is your All Terrain Nation. I'm your host, Kelly Boyd. Today, we're talking about ownership of a 2012 535i by Turbo Straight Inline 6. This puppy has over 300 horsepower. And let me tell you, when I say it moves, it moves. We've got quite a few features on this one, so we're gonna talk about, so let's go ahead and get started. So overall for a 2012 vehicles, this one is held up pretty well. I've seen some 2012s where you've got a lot of paint disturbance, and on this one, there isn't really any. If you told me that this was a nine-year-old vehicle just by looking at it, I wouldn't be able to tell you that it was because it's actually held up quite well. There's a few nicks in here and there and things like that, but overall, this has been a great vehicle and it really, really held up to its age. There's some few quirks on it and a few things we've had to do to it just to keep up with a maintenance perspective. We'll talk about that a little later on in the video, but let's go ahead and get inside and talk about it. All right, so let's talk about this 2012. I know I've talked about being a nine-year-old vehicle and I keep harping on that, but let me tell you, it makes a big difference. Some of the older nine-year-old vehicles that I've seen, they don't look as good as this on the inside. The quality has really held up over the years. You're talking about leather consoles. You're talking about leather on your dashboard. You're talking about things that you really wouldn't have seen in most nine-year-old vehicles, but we actually talk about the dash now as well we actually made some changes to it these got a little worn out so we had this button this one and then this button right here that we actually changed out earlier this morning literally popped it off put a new one on so if you've got an older vehicle and you're thinking these buttons are really worn out take a look out there you may have replacements available for you too and i think it looks brand new at this point with those button changes so there's quite a few features that we can talk about in this vehicle that we absolutely love. For one, heated seats. They're amazing, let me tell you. These heated seats, you have three levels of heat on this. So makes a big difference. Sometimes you want just a little bit, sometimes you want a whole lot. Um, your radio, you this does have Bluetooth capability. It also does have plug-in capability if you're wanting to do that as well. So, all right, so overall, you've got your navigational system. You've got CD in this one. Of course, it's 2012. We still had CDs back then. You've got your radio options, your telephone options. They're all based on Bluetooth, but you can go ahead and plug in and utilize that as well. Overall, the navigation is a little bit dated, so it does show its age there, but it will get you from point A to point B if you'd like it to. Um, overall, you've got your radio stations. This is something that is a little bit, that does take some adjusting to because it is a little bit dated. I'm not sure maybe it is the way the software is built for it as well, but it is a little bit of an adjustment to it to kind of get that kind of figured out. But overall, great vehicle, great. All right, so one of my biggest pet peeves on this vehicle, there's actually two pet peeves on this vehicle is the automatic off. I know a lot of people like that, but I'm not a fan of the automatic off because I just don't trust that it's always gonna start back up. And plus, when you're sitting in traffic, if you're only stopping for a second and it turns off and then it turns back on, it's just kind of a pain in the butt. The other thing I'm not a huge fan of is on the start stop. When you turn this vehicle off, you actually have to push the button twice to get it to completely shut off. It just kind of goes into an AUGS, like the engine's off and just has the radio on. So it's kind of annoying. Sounds picky, but it's something that I've noticed over time and it gets quite annoying when the time comes. All right, so overall you've got great quality in these seats. They are so comfortable. We've taken this on trips, and let me tell you, the way that this compares to other vehicles that we ride in, there's no comparison. It's amazingly comfortable. The seats themselves are great quality. I know that the previous owners had kids, and let me tell you, these have held up. They've also held up to our daughter, so that's saying a whole lot about the vehicle itself. Overall, she loves riding in this. She also loves that she has heated seats in the back seat on this vehicle as well. She's super excited when the heated seats are on for her and ready to go. All right, so you know me, the reviews that I've done before, I like to show the trunk space and how much we can fit in the cargo. So let's go ahead and show you what we've got in this 2012. All right, 
So a lot of space in there, as you can see. And as David likes to say, there's a whole lot of dead bodies you could fit in there. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So I know. All right. So us, I know that we have fit several chairs in here going to the ballpark. We've also been able to fit our daughters, all of her gear in here and been able to take all of our stuff to practice as well. So being coaches, that's a whole lot of gear. So that to me is a huge selling point on this vehicle. All right, so one of the first things I do when I get in the vehicle is actually turn off the auto start. Super annoying that I have to do that, but overall, I get it. It's a feature that they like to have in there and it kind of helps with that gas mileage on the vehicle if you were to utilize it. But I personally, I don't use it. So I love how quiet this vehicle is when you're driving it too. Now you can hear it purr just a little bit when you want to, but overall it's a very quiet vehicle. And I just love the way that it goes, the way that it drives, the way that it sounds. The overall, we had a friend of ours before we bought this tell us BMWs drive like nothing else. And I have to say that this vehicle drives like nothing else I have ever driven before. It hugs unlike anything you've ever seen. It is just overall smooth. The suspension is great in it. Overall, this vehicle is, it's, it's a win in the comfort perspective of driving this vehicle. All right, so let's give it a little. You can hear it change, it's super smooth. It just, I can't even explain how smooth the vehicle is. All right, so overall, this is a good vehicle to own. Will I say it's a great? I won't say it's a great because in the BMW world, in order to play in the BMW world, you've got to pay a little bit. The maintenance on these vehicles are not cheap. Uh, you've got premium fuel in these vehicles too that you've got to do because otherwise the little gremlins are going to come out and start yelling at you um, figuratively of course but in the sense of error codes is what you will pop up if you don't run premium fuel in this vehicle it, all right so unfortunately on the carfax it did say that the electric water pump had been replaced a year prior to us buying it so we were excited about that because that was one last thing that we might have to worry about however we did end up having to put an electric water pump in this bad boy less than a month into ownership, and it's not cheap. I wanna say up in the air of about $2,000 is what we ended up spending with pulleys and thermostat and water pump all in one. So that's what you're gonna get when you don't put quality parts in this. So when they did change it out, they did tell us that it was not, uh, BMW quality parts that they had put in on the replacement the year prior. So do recommend if you're going to be changing anything out, go OEM or as close to OEM as you can get from a quality perspective on the vehicle. Uh, of course, your oil changes are going to be more expensive. Uh, we did think we might have to put a battery in this thing at one point, but we didn't end up thankfully um, because that's actually not cheap either because it does have to be programmed to the vehicle itself. So there's quite a few things that do come with a luxury vehicle um, and you may not be used to that. Uh, so just kind of do your research. This is one of the top vehicles when it comes to the cost of maintenance in a year, which unfortunately I did not do my research and know that prior to us buying this vehicle or otherwise I may have thought about it secondly. But that being said, overall we've had fun in this vehicle besides the little bit of money we've had to shell out in it from that perspective but um, let us know in the comments below what you think of the vehicle would you own one knowing that there's a little bit of maintenance in there but it's a little bit costy there um, but it's also fun to play in so let us know in the comments below and if you like the content like and subscribe we'd love to bring you some more content like this but this has been your all-terrain nation i'm your host kelly boyd and this is a final farewell to our bmw drive